Recently, I created a video titled, Why Do Some Gamers Love Hating Fallout 4? The point of this video was to discuss the ongoing negativity surrounding Fallout 4, as well as to ask why some gamers had not yet moved the needle over with their disappointment for the title. Afterwards, two YouTubers have created follow-up videos of their own. Those YouTubers are Rags and Retrospective Gaming. These videos were not attack videos. They were videos with legitimate criticism that I need to learn from in order to improve as a content creator and a human. With that being said, I don't want to get wrapped up in any more negativity than I have to. I want to keep this section where we discuss the videos as brief as I can because I think that this is less about what other YouTubers have to say about me and more about what I need to do to change for the better. In fact, I only want to get one point across before moving on. The main focal point of both their videos was how I am a total fanboy because I said calling Fallout 4 a bad game is disrespectful. Now 2020 hindsight because that was one of the dumbest things I've said in recent memory, but I'm going to attempt to clarify what I was attempting to say in the video. We're going to take a look at Metacritic, a site that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. It mixes both user and critic reviews alike. I used Ride to Hell Retribution and Rogue Warrior as examples of games that are bad, given that both their scores from critics and standard gamers alike are awful. Pairing Fallout 4 in there, which has great critic scores, but mostly negative user reviews, and right on its tail is positive reviews with also some mixed ones, it didn't make much sense to me pairing Fallout 4 with those games. That doesn't excuse me from saying calling Fallout 4 a bad game is disrespectful, but I hope at least now both viewers and YouTubers alike see what I originally failed to say. Is that still wrong or right? Honestly, it's not up to me to decide what a good or bad game is. The stats may say otherwise, but there still might actually be someone out there who loves Ride to Hell. I believe that's a very extreme devil's advocate, but fair enough, to each their own. That's all I have to say about the content from both rags and retrospective gaming. I appreciate them for taking the time to respond to my video in a non-venomous manner despite their disagreement with me. Moving on to you and I, the viewer, it's time to discuss fanboyism. This was the focal point of both their videos, but honestly, people have been slinging that word my way for years now. Perhaps it's time I didn't dismiss it as another person who didn't agree with my opinion or just didn't like my content and really take an honest look at my content. I will say it right here right now, I have a tendency to go soft on Bethesda. That will change. Sometimes I look past their flaws just to see the brighter side of things, but the optimism I've built my channel off of has converted at times into blind fanboy attitude. The general accusation is that I can critique games pretty damn well, unless it's Bethesda. Also, let's get this out of the way, no. Bethesda has never paid me for a single creation on my channel. They have only supplied review copies, which is considered an incentive in the industry in exchange for an honest review or content coverage of any kind. They have never asked me to say something nice about them or to compliment a product of theirs in a video of mine. They have not tried to influence me whatsoever. It was just my decision to be very nice. Anyway, this change is not coming because of the videos made, although they did spark me a bit alongside my own self-awareness, but what really helped me decide enough is enough is because of a little behind the scenes action. A few months ago, I began work on a secret project. Naturally, I can't tell you guys about it, but I'm hoping to announce it early next year, and hopefully it's going to be pretty big. It is gonna involve a lot of game developers and publishers to hopefully change the games industry in a way. I currently have a decent amount of companies backing me up here, but there were only two who didn't respond or just weren't interested at the moment. One of them was Bethesda. Now, I respect that they have their own agenda. I am not entitled to jack shit from them. But when this happened a few weeks back, I realized at the end of the day, I'm just a number to a lot of these companies. It's the first time I had ever asked them for legitimate help with a project of mine. I had to realize at this point, it wasn't a happy-go-lucky friendship like I thought it was. I was naive as fuck. It was a reality check. The audience slash gamers are what matter. Relationships with these companies can be as important, but they should never take priority. You guys are the ones who put me in this position, and it's my duty to properly serve you, not them. I'm not going to drastically alter my personality and start intentionally screaming at Bethesda for everything they do to get my point across on this change I'm making. 
Not only do I think that would be silly, but it just wouldn't be me. I try to be rational most of the times. I tend to be the Mr. Brightside of my friends and my family, the person who finds the silver lining all the times. That may be good in my real life situations, but in this career line, it doesn't fly nearly as often. When I set a goal, I make sure it gets accomplished, okay? At the beginning of 2016, I wrote down a list of goals for the first time in my life. Things like being consistent at the gym each week, training harder than ever for my ice hockey team, and just trying to remain overall positive, which are some things I've struggled with in the past. These are all changes that I've made and am better because of it. This is another one I'm just adding to the list. Much like with Bethesda's review policy, if I see a similar policy or decision like that in which I just completely disagree with it, then I'm going to make it known. I will not sugarcoat it and try to force the bright side as best as I can. I will, as always, attempt to look at all sides of the argument but I'm no longer going to try to attempt to just brighten up any more of Bethesda's fuck-ups. It's not my problem. It's their company. It's not mine. I made it my problem, but I'm not anymore. I will still focus on Bethesda content here, the news and the discussions, because I enjoy their games quite a bit. But as you can see on the channel, I talk about a lot of other games too. That's all I have to say on this matter. This isn't some apologetic video. This is a statement on how things are going to be and where I fucked up. I will carry on with business as usual. I don't believe in holding grudges, okay? So do know that I have nothing against rags or retrospective gaming, all right? They're fine in my book. I enjoyed their content. I've seen rags before. I just recently found retrospective gaming. So honestly, it's not gonna change just because they had something to say about me. I hope the rest of you have a great day and do take care of yourselves.